and this is going to be testing the proportion. So let's go to an example. Here it is, look at example 9.17. And uh, we're really only going to be looking at without sample data for this. Again, we typically don't have the sample data. Even on the example I'm going to give you, the application, the uh, sample data is going to be easily digested and converted into what we use here. You do want to start with our hypotheses. Uh, here you can tell with all these percentages we're testing the proportion. So we want a P in the hypothesis statements. And you can read the line, it says that June believes that 50% of the first time brides in the United States are younger than their grooms. Um, she performs a hypothesis test to determine if the percentage is the same or different from 50%. So the null would be the or different part. And so we actually get these hypotheses, right? 50% is 0.5. And uh, if the percentage is the same, that's the null. If it's different, that's the alternative. And this is a uh, two-tailed test. And it does use the normal distribution. Um, and the population standard deviation is actually known because it's based off of the um, hypothesized mean and sample size. Um, but really, we're going to be looking at uh, this being true since it's a uh, it's a proportion test with a large sample. Now, your level of significance here is actually one percent, so you need to change that. You don't have a sample mean, but you do have a sample proportion and a sample size. And and we have a number of successes. So we have uh, Joan has a 100 sample survey, 100 people in her survey, and 53 uh, reply they are younger than their grooms. So the proportion is. 53 divided by 100.53. Now the standard deviation for this is going to be a little more complicated. We'll use that formula we've used already. Square root of, and we'll use this one up here, p times 1 minus p divided by n, sample size, all in the square root. That's our standard deviation for the sampling distribution. We don't need that. And so our p-value will go back to what we had before. And this is going to be uh, let's put this back here. 4.5. For the left-tailed case, it would be the uh, usual norm dist function. And x is your sample proportion. The mean is the population proportion. The standard deviation is the standard deviation we calculated. And then cumulative is 1. Now for the right-tailed case, we would do 1 minus norm dist and put in all the same stuff. Sample proportion population proportion, standard deviation, and 1. And then the two-tailed case would be 2 times the minimum of these. And this is a two-tailed test, so that's actually the one we're going to want, and it's that uh, 5485 right there, which does agree with the book. Here's a nice picture.
All right, so what happens here? We actually don't reject the null this time um, because the p-value is the p-value is greater than alpha, right? p-value is 0.5485, alpha is 1%. So we'd say we uh, fail to reject the null hypothesis since p is greater than alpha. And here we say that the sample data fails to support the claim. And the claim is kind of wordy here that 50% of U.S. first time First time U.S. brides are younger than their grooms. That's what this whole test was about. So you can look back and see that June had 53%. Right? She had more than 50% of these um, brides being on the grooms, and yet uh, it wasn't enough. Right? The uh, the difference there from 50% wasn't enough. So we would still actually. Uh, stick with the null hypothesis on this one. All right, this shows some uh, hypothesis testing. The full procedure uh, should be able to.